I spent a few days putting everything back together on the back side here. I got my lights all put back together. Got the uh, little uh, license light on here. Everything's put back together. Flip the bumper back in. I need to still put my tailpipes on there. I took them off so that I could get easier access. But I won't be able to uh, really get everything nice and lined up perfectly until I get the car out of the garage. I've actually, it's hard to see in here, but there is the connector. I got a weather pack connector and I made a connection here that goes up into the light on both sides of the fender. Okay, now with the rear end finished up here, looking pretty good. Let me turn the lights on, I'll show you. There's the uh, tail lights and the license plate light. They don't look that bright on film, but they are very bright. They're 10, the running lamps are 10 watt halogens, so it's really bright. Okay, there's one job I gotta take care of before I can start rebuilding everything back here in the back of the, of the bug. I'm putting all the uh, panels back in, carpet everything, and put vinyl or something on everything. I've got a small issue with the fuel tank. When you go, when this thing gets down to like an inch to an inch and a half of fuel left in the tank, you go around a corner and it sloshes from one side to the other and the, and the fuel pump will run dry. So I'm building a, uh, a baffle, a small box in here that'll hopefully take care of some of that. Okay, here's my in-tank fuel pump. I've gone ahead and pulled it back out again. What I need to do is I need to make sure that the, the pickup on the bottom of this pump down here, this is right at the bottom of the fuel tank. So when the gas, gas schloss, sloshes to one side of the tank, this thing will go and run dry. So uh, you can get a foam baffle, but I don't really like foam. I don't think that has any business being inside a fuel tank. So I've got this little small aluminum box. It's like a little camping box. It's about a little over three inches tall. I'm going to cut this hole out here to go around the fuel pump so this sock, this filter sock, will sit down inside of here, inside of the fuel tank. And I'm gonna cut a hole here and I'm gonna strap it on and I'm gonna clamp it on with this hose clamp. Then I'm going to actually drill some holes in the side of the box at the bottom so that when the car is sitting flat, gas will flow into this box. So the, the level of the gas will be the same in the box as it will be in the tank. Now, as you go around a corner, you would slosh to one side or the other side. Now, this is very, you know, obviously it's not gonna move that much, but the gas inside of here, even though the majority of the gas will slosh, this gas will stay in the box, hopefully, as long as I don't drill the holes too big. Now, I have to drill the holes big enough for the, ga the gas to get back inside the box when it goes uh, level again. So, I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit. I'm going to do some experimentation. Okay, now, I've kind of finished my little baffle box here for my fuel system. Uh, the fuel pump goes through here, and this will be held on with a uh, hose clamp stainless hose clamp. Uh, as you can see, I cut some big openings here in the top, so when the fuel is above the level of the box, there is no issue. The fuel will just dump straight in this box and be picked up by the fuel pump inside, not a problem. When the fuel gets down below the top edge of this box and lower, then every time you take a turn in the car, the fuel will slosh. This box will tip. There's two holes here in this front corner, which is the lowest part of this tank. So when this thing tips, been turning left, a tip this way, and all the fuel will slosh. There'll still, still be some fuel inside this box that will slowly drip out of these holes here. And then when you go the other way, same thing. Uh, so hopefully you won't be taking any corners that are real long on a very low fuel tank. Again, once it's above this box, there is no issue. It's just only when the fuel level gets below the box that this thing will come into play.
Okay, now I put the, uh, the fuel pump back in. I put everything back together here. I resealed it all and uh, it seems to be pretty good. I went ahead and took it for a spin around the block. Went around eight uh, pretty uh, tough corners and uh, it didn't run dry, so which is great because I put about an inch to an inch and a half of gas in the tank. I figured out how much that would be to give me an inch and a half in the tank. So I drove it around and around and around in circles and even though the gas is going to slosh in here, it's not running the pump dry, so it looks like I got that problem fixed.